guys! Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I'm so excited to be filming this video. I never thought, well I did, but I didn't know when, I would be able to finally say to you guys, I've done it! This is done! Let's move on with our lives! I'm going to do a little background story and then I also wanted to talk about my, basically what this video is about, which is my uh, international um, house apartment hunting experience, I guess. Um, I know a lot of people move around the world to different places that they don't know and I wanted to share my experience with moving to a different country specifically right now apartment hunting because I haven't yet moved so I wanted to talk about that and then I want to share as much of my experience moving and everything like that with you guys as I can which I've said before which is why I started vlogging and everything like that yeah that's basically what this video is going to be about specifically is just the apartment hunting process and how we did this internationally my experience and everything like that I've got so much to tell you guys about this experience and I'm very happy to be able to say that we do have an apartment we do have a home come January and I think it's really nice and I really like it I don't know if I will do like an apartment tour obviously I'm gonna be like filming and everything in my apartment but the thing that I really think is important to remember with like anything is that there's always more than just me in a situation it's not just me you know by myself making my own decisions I'm going to be living with my partner and if he's not comfortable with me showing our apartment to the world then obviously I respect that as well as the fact that there are some things that I would rather keep private um, and so on like that. I'm a pretty open book though for the most part I will show you guys fucking my poop. I don't care like I, I really don't. I, I want to share my life with you but like I said I'm not going to say right now that I'll do an apartment tour but most likely like just from watching my videos you'll kind of get an idea of what our apartment looks like. So I'm going to start from the very beginning of the story which like I said I can't really believe that I'm actually here telling this story now because it feels like it's been such a long process of getting here. But basically my boyfriend and I started dating when we were 16 and when I first met him he told me that he wanted to go to a music school in Boston and that it was his dream and when you're 16 and someone that you just started dating tells you that you're kind of like oh, okay sweetie like that's cute like I've never really stuck to a hobby for a very long time so in my mind I was very much like yeah you will get over that in a few years well nevertheless he didn't get over it and when we turned I think he was 18 we decided that you know what we would go for it he would try to get into the school and that was the most insane experience. We went to Boston where he did his audition for the school and then come September we found out that he had been accepted to the school. And at that time he was 18 and I was 19. So we were young and I feel like the big thing about this whole experience that you will experience if you're moving or from my experience to you I'll tell you, nothing is concrete in moving. Like nothing is ever concrete figuring well out where you want to live it will never be what you originally thought it was going to be you're never going to pay the amount you originally thought you were going to pay we decided we would defer his acceptance into the school for another year and a half so he hasn't actually started school yet he's starting school in a month now um, and that's like a whole nother story to go into that's not even my story to tell and we decided that we would move in January of 2016 it's coming up really quick now and it's pretty crazy that I can actually say to you guys like oh I'm moving in like less than a month like like a month and a bit like a month and a few days like it's insane a month and a week like it, time has gone by so quickly but one of the things that I think that I did really well was I have been aggressively seeking out apartments for probably the past four or five months and that may be way too soon to a lot of you You're like why would you look for an apartment that early but for me it wasn't like I was actually looking for a specific apartment I was more so just like seeing what was available in what price range that was the first thing that we wanted to decide is where we wanted to live and originally we thought Alston would be the perfect place for us in Boston because it's really student friendly, it's cheaper than the city, and it's a really nice area from what we saw in photos, but we'd never been there before, so it was kind of taking a risk. So as soon as September and October hit, I was searching for a real estate agent who could help us find a place, and then the drama started to happen. This is when I was literally losing my mind, like throwing computers across the room, crying, screaming, wanting to like punch someone in the face. What continued to happen for us was that we could not get a sight unseen apartment. What continued to happen was we would find the perfect apartment, perfect price, perfect whatever, I mean obviously not perfect, but what ideal for what we needed. 
And then we would contact the real estate agent, say we're interested in an apartment, and they would be like, okay, when can you be down here to see it? And we would be saying, actually, we're not gonna see it. We would just like to sign the lease you know, now and um, not see it. And they weren't comfortable with that. And I'm not just saying like one or two people weren't comfortable with that. I mean like literally everyone we talked to was like, we can't do that. So it became seriously frustrating for all of us. Everyone involved was stressed and freaked out by it because the thing about the Boston rental market that I realized, I feel like I'm a freaking real estate agent now. Like to be honest with you, I'm like, I know everything about, about no. The thing we realized is that like 95% of all of the rentals that occur and that are open in Boston are in September because that's when everyone's like moving to Boston or moving away from Boston as students and a like large proportion of Boston is students. So we realized really quickly that we weren't gonna have that much of an option come to apartment choices. So we were kind of accepting of that, but then it was just like no one would let us even move next step in an apartment. We actually had three real estate agents Two of them actually just sort of said, sorry, we can't help you after about a week of communicating with them, which was extremely disappointing. When you put a lot of like time and effort into someone, suddenly they would just say to us like, oh, sorry, we can't help you anymore. Like this is too much, like, or we can't, we don't think we can actually help you. It was really discouraging, obviously, and very just like, okay, so what, how do other people do this? How do other people move? As we continued to get dropped by real estate agents, they would just stop calling us, they would just stop contacting us, we would continue to email them and they wouldn't help us. We decided that the worst thing that could happen right now is the fact that we would have to spend more money and fly out to Boston to find a place. So many risks in that, you guys, so many risks because you're spending a lot of money to get go to go to this place. You're also giving yourself a limited amount of time to find a place that works for your budget, that works where you want to be, and everything like that. So it was a lot of risks that we had to take in order to find something that would work for us. Um, it did work out for us because we had a really great real estate agent that ended up helping us in Boston, and she was so amazing, like super helpful, and showed us about. 10 apartments in one day. We flew into Boston, literally did not sleep. We flew in, went apartment hunting, found the one that we liked on that day, and then signed the lease for it the next day, and we were accepted this, that, that next day. So really it was like a 24 hour thing where we were picking our apartment and signing a lease for 12 months. That's insane, obviously. Like, it's obviously crazy. But the thing that I definitely learned from the experience was that you will never find the perfect apartment and that is totally okay. It's totally okay to not be 100% satisfied. Our space is really, really small that we'll be living in, but it's super central location wise and that's what we sacrificed. That's what we wanted to sacrifice for this year or two that we're gonna be living here. So that was that. Basically we flew in, like I said, we looked at a ton of apartments and I was very optimistic that even if it wasn't like the nicest space that we could make it work, but it wasn't even just like the the niceness of the spaces. They just weren't even that safe. Like a lot of the places were not safe and I didn't feel comfortable in a space where I don't feel safe, obviously. Like that just doesn't make sense. Especially when you don't know a city that well, you wanna feel safe. So when we found this place, I really felt like it was meant to be. Um, and I posted a photo of us actually outside of the apartment complex um, on my Instagram. So if you wanna check that out, you can. It was just so surreal and honestly, I still can't believe we found an apartment in like literally two days. Again, my biggest advice for anyone moving uh, internationally or even just within a country, it's hard to move when you're not in the place you're going to be moving to right away. I would say find someone who is willing to work with you no matter what your circumstances are because there's going to be someone out there. It's just going to take a lot of work to find them. And second of all, be open to like completely imperfect spaces because you're never going to find a place that's exactly perfect unless you have an unlimited budget which if you do holy crap can you like send some my way that's the first sort of part of our moving life that i wanted to share with you guys was finding the apartment um so i'm very excited and i can't wait to tell you guys more stories as we move into our new space. I just feel like it's gonna be insane and crazy and fun, but I'm gonna plan to video as much as I can, like record as much as I can. So I think that's basically everything I wanted to share in regards to our apartment hunting experience. Um, let me know down below if you guys have any other questions or any advice for anyone else who might be looking for an apartment internationally. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you all very, very soon. If you have any video requests, video requests, 
that was completely mumbled. Um, let me know down below, and I will see you all soon. Bye!